sometimes in life, things don't always go to plan. We call them setbacks, but sometimes setbacks are set ups for the next thing. And what feels like a bad, catastrophic moment is really just a bad 20 minutes off day. It's not a lifetime of disaster. So when things don't feel good, what I always try and do is I dig deep into the clients that I work best with and what it is that I bring to them that may like, make their life better. So I have one client, uh, Mr. Ken, and uh, he says, you know, I love everything you do and if you didn't do it for me, it wouldn't happen. So don't change, just keep doing it. Right? And because of that, because of that trust he has in me and my team, we just keep doing it more and more, better and better as this relationship grows, right? So when you're feeling off, think of a time when you've worked well with somebody, when you took them to a place that they couldn't get to by themselves, that they were happy to pay you for, just dwell on that. And then start to think of other people just like them that you could do it for too. And before you know it, you can go and sell to them. But this is the preface to that. When you are not going to sell to them, you are going to help them. Help, don't sell. Because if you're helping somebody, it's okay if they say no. Like, imagine this, you fall over, or you watch someone fall over, and they skin the knee. And in your backpack, you've got some polysporin and some bandages. Hey, hey, let me help dress your knee. I've got some cleaning materials. And they went, nope, nope, I'm okay. Okay. You weren't rejected, you offered, right? And that's the thing with sales. Sometimes we don't make that cold call, or we don't make that new call to somebody that we think we can help, because of fear of rejection. But invariably, it's not a no. It's quite often a right. So, a couple of things. One, get yourself into that headset of, I can help this person, I've done it for other people like them, I know what to do, and I know the difference that I make, and I know I'm worth my value. And second of all, it may not be right for them at this moment in time. Because just because you're ready to sell, doesn't mean to say they're ready to buy. But what you do do is you stay in touch with them, and you keep encouraging them, and that's why writing blogs and educational content can really make so that you stay top of mind. And then when you go make another presentation to them, walk into that door knowing that they need you, knowing that you can help them, knowing that for you the time is right. Because you have that authority in your voice and the calmness and the willingness to help. Remember, needy is greedy, but you don't want that. So go knowing that you can meet a need, knowing that they have a point of view, knowing that the best you can do will solve that. Yeah.